Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about what are the benefits that you could have working from home, such as save on rent, transportation, maybe other expenses as well. So I want to go in detail in this video based on my personal experience because that's what I'm doing at the moment, working from home. Now, if I miss anything in this video that you think that could be benefit for others, maybe some other way that you are saving so much money, please leave in the comment section below. That will help others as well. So in this video, first I want to talk about working in an office, what you could be missing if you are working from home. For example, you could be missing chit chat or maybe socialization or maybe you might end up working less hour. What I mean by less hour, if you think about a day, you might work from 9 to 5, meaning around 8 hours in total. One hour will be paid lunch, right? So which means you have to work around 7 hours per day in your working environment, right? But if you question yourself, do you actually do that? I would say no. The reason why, while you're working in an office, there are so many distractions you might need to face, such as there might be so many meetings you may need to attend. Probably some people will come and ask some help maybe some chit chat so there are so many distractions you might end up which means you will be wasting from one to two hours per day you know even during your working hour every couple hours you might end up taking a short break that could be drinking coffee maybe talk about some other thing chit chat personal life these all will take your time right so you probably end up five hours per day as a working hour which means less productivity now, when we are doing less productivity, you might face many other problems as well, such as you might delay on your delivery. That could take, you know, maybe less trustworthy person, you might end up like that. Maybe your progression might be impact as well, right? So this is why I think productivity is one of the important. Working in an office, you will face this kind of problem, okay? There are many other things as well. Now, let's talk about what is the benefit that you can you can end up working from home i will be highlight some of the facts what will happen if you are working in an office as well okay now the first thing i want to talk about what is the best benefit you might get when you're working from home which is that renting now renting why i'm highlighting here if you're working in an office you might want to find the home nearby the office maybe a little distant right but then you are talking about getting in a city. When you're taking or renting a house in a city, it will be very expensive in terms of renting and also living costs as well, such as buying things also going to be very expensive. But when you're working from home, you can find a house a bit far away, maybe such as in a county, maybe around more than 10 to 20 miles away, which will reduce your rent by half but also anything you buy from clothes maybe food grocery everything can be a bit cheaper as well the reason why that is if you are in a city the city shop will be calculate the price per product based on where they having they selling a building right because their renting cost will be high tax will be high business rate will be high so put together they might end up Causing you much higher for same product that you can buy outside in a county, which is just cheaper, right? So if you think about saving cost wise, renting a property outside from your work, also living cost will be very less, right? So you can save so much money. Now the second one, I want to talk about around avoiding chit chat. Now when I talk about avoiding chit chat, you probably gonna end up talking your personal stuff, other stuff. So you will be wasting your time. Instead of that, if you're actually putting your time into the work, productivity high, but also maybe taking those time to think about your progression, career growth, right? That can lead you to next level. So working in an office, you will be doing that distraction. But working from home, you won't have that kind of flexibility because everything remotely, you know, you're not going to call every single people and talking. Not many people going to call you to distract as well, right? So that is the second one, I think, is you're going to get the benefit working from home. Now, the third thing I want to talk about is avoiding commuting time. It is a, one of the biggest things 
there are two problems here, right? One of them, you have to get up really early, you have to prepare yourself, you know, shower on your clothes, you can prepare your food, so many things you have to do all this time outside from your work, so you have to put on, right? And then when you are traveling, you will be putting some time to travel to get to the office, but then you're going to start working from 9 to 5, and when you finish work, you are repeating again, traveling from your work to home, so another time. So in my personal experience, every day, I had to spend nearly 1 hour and 20 minutes just to travel each way. So you're talking about every single day, 2 hour and 40 minutes. On top of that, I had to wake up early and then I had to do all my preparation time. Everything, if you had to get them each day, minimum 4 to 6 hours I had to spend on going to work. These hours, I can use on some other thing if I'm working from home. Because time is money. Think about the time that you can spend on maybe develop yourself, personal growth. Maybe you find a side hustle and do something, right? Or maybe think about building your own product. Or even spending quality time with your family, right? That is a bigger thing, right? So these you can achieve by working from home. Not only that, there are other additional things which is you can save so much money as well. If you are commuting, you have to spend on each way traveling. And if you, are, you have to travel more than 21 days per month, if you put all together, there's a big amount of money you have to spend on traveling. That same amount you can save as well. Now, the fourth one I want to talk about, time management and the flexible hour. If you are working from an office, time management within the working hour might be okay, but outside from the working hour, you will be spent on many things and you're going to be wasting, right? The amount of the time that you're wasting outside from work that can be make it useful if you are working from home. But then again, flexible hour is one of the important things. Working from home means you can have a flexible hour. You know, you can talk to your employer whenever you have the other appointment. Maybe you might need to take your child to you know parents meeting. You have to visit the school. Maybe your wife need to be taken to hospital for other thing or anything right around that. It will be hard if you are working from office. To do that, you might need to take a holiday. That holiday is going to be wasted, right? But working from home means you can arrange some of the flexible hour. Probably you can start early. Maybe, um, you know, working a bit longer hour because of you taking some time. You know, you can arrange some sort of thing, right? Now, the fifth one is one of the important and the bigger one is better and healthy food that you can have. What I mean by if you're going to office, right? You have to spend so much money on food. Again, it could be junk food. Even if you want to buy a healthy food, you have to spend so much money. Personally, I was spending every single day when I go office, minimum 10 pounds for my lunch, maybe up to 20 pounds just for the lunch. Maybe when I leave my work, probably I had to buy again some you know, snack or some food. Again, you have to spend on, right? You have to spend many things, like maybe buying water, buying drinks, so many things that you do. Each day you can end up from 20 to 30 pounds a day. And if you calculate for the whole month, you will be end up paying so much money on food. Again, those food are not healthy, junk food, but then why you want to spend? You bring all that money and you have to pay or spend half of that to buy for the whole month for your grocery and you can have a better food and healthy food as well. So that's why I think one of the key factors here, renting and the food is one of the big ones and you can save so much money there. Now the next thing I want to talk about is social time. If you're working from office, social time will be much high because you might end up going out every single day after work, such as going pub, maybe eating out. At least you will do this every Friday, things like you know eating out, going pub, Maybe you want to do some other activity and because of that you have to travel from one to another place. So the commuting time will be increased, commuting spend will be increased. Sometimes you might even gonna find Uber as well, right? So think about how much money you will be spent on. But if you are working from home, you can avoid many of them. I'm not saying doing social is bad, but at least working from home means you can avoid most of the time, at least you can do once in a while. And that way you will be saving so much money. But if you are working from home, the way I normally manage my social time by every midweek, we will have a team virtual coffee catch up, which means we go there, everyone get together, talk about personal things, things like that. 
that way we keep our social. Sometimes every stand up in the morning, at least we spend five to ten minutes to talk about the personal stuff, which means we create that relationship and trust and that will go on. Sometimes we also do virtual drinking evening after the work and that way we can keep that up to date. But also, once in a while, we do a physical face-to-face -face social time and then we spend time there as well. So this is how I normally do in my work environment. Maybe you can do exactly the same things as well. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is a fancy club. Now, if you're working in an office, you have to constantly buy you know, fancy clothes, fashion clothes, and it's going to be very expensive, right? Not only that, when you buy more fancy clothes, which means you have to do a laundry, and again, you know, when you do a laundry at home, you're going to spend so much money on the electricity as well. But if you're working from home, you don't need to buy a lot of fancy dress or clothes. Maybe you don't even need to buy brand clothes. You can minimize your spend on, you know, fashions and clothes, right? And when you do that, you will have a very minimum but also, you are uh, lonely, you don't need to do much high, but also electricity cost will be decreased as well, right? So that's where you can save so much money there as well. Now, you may wondering, there are two problems yourself. One of them, you might have to pay your electricity bill and maybe internet bill, right? But think about it, if you can save so much money on many other things, such as, you know, food, traveling costs, maybe even rent costs, now, why not you have to pay little for your bills and internet costs? But also, you can actually ask your employer, they might even support you because some company actually paying uh, people electricity or maybe the internet costs as well. Or there are two pro tips I can give you. One of them, you can, you know, in UK, government supporting, you know, every week they pay £54. If you are working from home, you can get that, you know, the grant. Maybe if you're working from a different country, maybe just look into the, the government website. Do they actually support that? Okay. Or else you can even, second pro tip I can give you, find a supplier who actually charging really less. Maybe you can find a discount code. Maybe even company can provide some sort of discount code that you can use to get a cheaper price on the internet, maybe in electric as well. Right? Now, you may have another concern about setting up your office space in your home. The main concern, the spend that you have to do. Think about it, you're already saving so much money on many things and therefore spending on setting up your workspace is okay to do that. But if you are still worried about it, there are so much things available as well. One of the pro tips I could give you that in your working environment, ask your employer if there is any benefit out there, is there any budget out there you can provide to set up my workspace properly they will be saying yes because in my company actually they allocate a budget to set up a working or workspace right what they did was they are allowing to buy a table and chair and actually i can expense that later time most of the company do the same kind of benefit so you can ask them if there is one then you also don't need to pay for it right so you can have that but even if they don't pay i think it's okay because if you think about you can save so much money, then why not you spend on setting up your office space? Because that office space can be used for your personal things as well, right? Now, one of the last thing I want to talk about in this video is you can have less stress by working from home. Because you need to have a working balance, right? But working from home, that will give you. Because if you're working in an office, you have to wake up really early, you have to prepare yourself, but also commuting time will be added up. So average from four to six hours, I normally spend on. That so much that time I can reuse to repurpose myself. Things like I can spend quality time with my family. Maybe I can try to look for my second income. But also I don't need to wake up really early. I can wake up a little later, have a longer sleep. And many things I can achieve by working from home, right? So that's why I said you will have a less rest because you don't need to worry about financially, you will save so much money and all the money that you save, you probably can repurpose. Maybe you can invest on something, you can multiply your money, maybe you can look into the side income, you know, what some side has are as well. Many things you can do here. So that's how you can less your stress anyway. Now, I'd like to hear from you. What is your top tips for working from home? 
you may already doing or maybe some other way you are saving so much money and if you have any please leave in the comment section below which will help other people as well if you are enjoying this video please like this video for the youtube algorithm and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification once again thank you for watching my video i will be seeing another video on the day. take care and goodbye.